WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update. We've got a bit of a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. The Dow's up 61 points with the S&P down 9. The Russell 2000 is off 10. The Nasdaq 100 is down 110. Semis are off 57 points. That's 1 and 6 tenths percent move to the downside. That's to the downside. To the upside, you've got Goldilocks up $51. That's up nearly 2.7%. Silver is up nearly 4% or 83 cents. Lights recruit up nearly 4%. $3 move there. Natural gas back 11 cents. 30 year Treasury up one point and 10 ticks. She's printed out at 112.25. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand side. We've got the ES Mini and it's forming a new profile. It's attempting to form a new profile. We'll have confirmation on that. Sunday evening. Right now, we know where the buyers and sellers reside. The buyers are at 43.33. The sellers are at 44.30. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it is well above its 50-day exponential moving average. That would suggest that the ES Mini is likely going to target the bottom of that profile at 43.33. The NQ also forming a new profile out here. It's bearish in structure. Uh, the support level is 1511685. That's the level to watch. That is very likely where price is going to target. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it's back on the move, had that big day yesterday, follow through today. It wants to go target the top of its daily profile. That's the first target, 106.87. The second target would be its TD knockout breakdown level at 10705, or the Rhodes Mintum indicator top is where that is. You'd be close above that. We're headed higher, headed higher to where 113 or so. Goldilocks out here, it's dealing with support or resistance right now, potential resistance level. That's the center of its profile. The center of a profile, and it's a weekly profile that we're looking at here, that's where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value with inside that range. That range moves from 1901.80 up to 1964.50. If price can clear this 1932.30 or 20 area, we're likely headed to 1952.20. That's its TD nine count breakdown resistance level. In the case of silver, there's no weekly profiles to worry about. They're way above where we're trading right now. Price likely targeting its TD nine count breakdown resistance level. That's at 23.92. Lightspeed crude found support at the bottom of its profile yesterday. No breakout or anything, but it is trading higher. Its resistance zone is up at 89.62 to 92.32. Natural gas, you want to watch this. New profile did form yesterday. You start to see a close below $3.21. Get out of the way because natural gas will make its way all the way back down to the lows of October. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.